on top of ankle. Same foot, ankle, ankle. It's a wonderful experience. And then place your palms again. And I want them on the heel, the inside of the heel. And just press down. And now we can walk up. So again, it's like it's a walk and a lift. I'm not applying too much pressure. I am just moving. And then I get to the knee. I come up onto my toes. Let's get you up. Great. Up onto your toes. That's right. You have a better position to do the knees if you're on your toes. Perfect. And now we're going to start to circle the knees. Okay, let's start gently, no pressure. So let's circle from the skin level. Okay, and let's go down to the muscle level. We're gonna add a little more depth to it. And when I want to go to the, I take the edge. <laughs> <laughs> and when we wanna get so, you need to apply more pressure so that she's not, okay? And it's not about grabbing. You're not grabbing on the sides because that would make me go crazy too. I'm very <laughs> different. <laughs> so it's more about I'm cupping my hands and I am rotating them there, okay? And when I get down bone to bone, I'm on top of the bone. I cup, I hold that knee, and I rotate the bone. So I just feel all the movement completely, okay? And we go up the leg. Again, lifting off. Lift off. Raise the top of the face. Back down. Let's go down towards that knee again. And then raise it back up. Now I'm not going to do that blood stop because you're not ready to learn that. So we'll do it because I don't want you to do that to someone. Yeah, so let's go all the way down back to the knee. And go back again, do more rotations on the knee. If you can pick a number before you even start, and then it's whatever comes to my head, you might want to do all of your segments, uh, like rotations with this, or any kind of rotations I may do with arms, or anything that I need a number for. Pick a number and stick with that number, because the client on the mat is going to recognize your sequence. So even though, yeah, absolutely. And they will feel a little out of sorts if you've broken the sequence. It will, it will disturb them. So it's very interesting how subtle this is and how deep they go and how much registers, even when they're not watching, you know, awake and alert. All right. <laughs> Whose baby's that? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you come back down, I want you to walk those hands back out again. The end of the toes. Very good. Back out. Great. This one hits kind of good for when they don't. This is sweet and easy. Okay? Place this, place the feet right on the stomach. Yeah? And just hold on to their knees. And we're just going to rotate. So we're going to do the moving. We're going to do the moving. We'll go the other way. something that doesn't get done very often. And I'm just going to show you because it doesn't hurt, but it feels really good. So you keep one leg up, one leg extends. Again, if you're working on a woman, you're working on the left side. If you're working on a man, you're working on the right side to start. 
So if you bring that foot in, and really all I want you to do is I want you to kind of, let me over here. I want you to kind of bang on that bone, okay? It happens to be a wonderful feeling. <laughs> and you can press on it if you want. And then press on the top of the foot. I'm going to put this one down. I want you to do exactly the same thing to the other leg. So. My fingers are limp. There you go. I don't want straight, rigid. It's going to hurt. Limp creates a really nice vibration in there. And then you can do press. How many people press on this bone ever? It doesn't happen. Yeah? It needs to be pressed. Nice. And the bottom. Now here's something that you can do which is really kind of cool. I want you, I want those that are laying on the mat, I want you to turn over, please. And this is where I talk about contours, contours of your feet. Okay, I'll turn it here for a second. There you go. Right. So, if I look foot to foot, I'm going to, and the foot on mat. I'm going to lean forward and press. I did no, no work on the bottom of the feet when I, did, when I worked on the two of you. It's a very important place to go work. And you don't have to do it with your hands, you can do it with your feet. So you've already got clients laying on the mat, and you want your, your yoga teacher, and you're all done with them, and you want them to lie down for a few minutes on their bellies, <coughs> and do this. Perfect step. Perfect step. Perfect. Look, 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 look. My arch, her arch. Look at all the contours that we can go to just based on body to body. Right? Now I'm going to switch. You can spend 10 minutes doing this. And it'll send them into a no man's land again because it's really, really, really powerful. Um, me too, he said. Me too. Yeah, he wants, he wants to get in here and on that. Oh boy. That's the doggy. Mm -hmm. That's me. <laughs> Now I just noticed that Allie has a, a toe ring. So that might hurt, right, Allie? Mm -hmm. No, good, okay. <laughs> but it might hurt, huh, if I didn't ask. Yeah? Okay. And I didn't notice until I was really looking at her feet. Okay, so turn around to your heels, and now on their feet, and do the heel work. It's going to be deeper, huh? But it's going to be good. Anybody having any pain with this? Good. There shouldn't be. But if there is, they need to speak up. You can do it faster. Cool. Make sure you get to the edges too. Don't stay in one place. Move your feet. So it's up and down. It looks good for heels. One last really sweet thing to do. your heel in your arch and I want their toe your your toes on their ankles. 
No, it's not going to hurt. Okay. He's already halfway there. Your heel goes into their arch. You're down too far. There you go. Put your hands down to balance yourself so you can put the other. And turn it. That's right. And then just stand up. Are you good? Yeah. yeah. Everybody good? I'm just trying to learn at the same time. Yeah, well, you're going you're, you're gonna, you're gonna to do it. So, Okay? How are you doing? I mean, I, I'm not sure. You're not sure yet? <laughs> I don't know how to get off it. Okay. Like I got one off and I stood, but it, it made it uncomfortable. Well, you're also on um, a wood board. Uh -huh. I mean we're on soft stuff. Uh -huh. All right. So you let me know. <coughs> okay. So my heel is in her arch and my toes are on the outside of her ankle. Mm -hmm. Inside of her hand. Are you good? Are oh, you good? good? Like this? Okay. She's out, so she's good. As long as I know you're okay. No, I'm great. Are you okay, sweetheart? Okay. No, it's really about the placement. I know it's awkward to begin with, but once you get it, it's heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you really can't hurt anybody, honestly. You know, if their feet don't go that direction very often, then I wouldn't. Jump back at I'd work more just working with the feet first until there's more flexibility in the ankle, and then go there because it's a divine place to be. I like walking. Okay. Up. 